G'day YouTube, I thought I'd do a clip and show you how I make up my burley. I save a lot of money this way because it's near as poison buying burley in the shops. And what I do is I buy a huge packet, I think it's 40 kilos, of chicken pellets for about $15 at the local produce store. Any old stale bread is always good burley, so throw that in, or if you don't have stale bread, it's cheap to go to the supermarket and get some packets of breadcrumbs. They're pretty good too, just make sure you get unseasoned ones. Then all the old bait that I have I keep, and if it's no good to use again for bait, it goes into the burley. If I catch some bait species while I'm out, and I don't use them all, I'll often bring them home and add them to the burley as well. Buy some tuna oil, that's about, I think, $40 a gallon, and that lasts a while. You don't need to put a huge amount in, although sometimes I do. And some aniseed oil, that's a pretty good fish attractant, and it's probably the most expensive part of the whole deal. It's about $12 a little bottle, but you don't need very much because it's quite strong. A little bottle will make quite a bit of burly. All in all, it's a lot cheaper than buying it ready-made in the shops, and the money that I save can go towards other things like rods, tackle, boat, petrol, everything else that you need to spend to go fishing. So anyway, that's the deal. Let's roll the clip and have a look at making this burly. Don't ever put your fingers down inside a electric mincer. Comfortable enough doing it with a hand mincer because if I do get caught, I can just stop, stop turning the handle before I lose a finger. But there's no way that's going to happen with an electric mincer. If you're using an electric mincer, your finger will be gone before you know it. Anything you got to put through uh, for the burley, within reason, is pretty good. Any old chicken goes well in it. Couple of grinners, that'll do. You always keep, always keep the bait fish. The rubbish if it hasn't got a. Uh, bag limit or a size limit, keep it and use it for burly or bait. Now for mixing this up, I start off with some chook feed, chook pellets in the uh, bottom, and that's where I thore out all my excess bait so the chook pellets catch any of the uh, juices that come out. Get some breadcrumbs, you can uh, buy it or you can make, uh, make your own out of stale bread, or just mince some stale bread through with your bait when you're doing it for that matter. Don't want anything that's seasoned of course. Throw the rest of this in here. The 
it's more the bread comes in. I just realised as I was editing this video that I don't have a clip of the aniseed oil going in. That's a good thing to put in some burley fish love it, and I usually just buy a little bottle of aniseed oil and put a couple of thimblefuls in. Don't need a great deal of it, mix it through thoroughly. It's pretty strong stuff. If you don't have any aniseed oil, you can use a packet of black jelly beans. There's a fair amount of aniseed in them. Not only is good bread a good bread, uh, fish attracted by itself, but you will also take up the tuna oil. And that's also a good thing. You've got some crusts of bread. You can put them through your mincer as well to finish. It'll go into the burley, but most of all, it cleans out all the meat out of your mincer so you don't leave any of that behind. Now, with tuna oil. That ought to be enough in there, eh? Give this a mix in. Now I'll start putting some water in it. Go so make it into a paste. Or really heavy paste. Get some bags, whatever shape, fits a little burly container, and then pack it full. When you're ready to use it, just put the bag open while it's still frozen, and then you can start in your burly container and make it a It's the easiest way to deal with it. And there we go. Oh, split down the bottom, but that'll be okay. And I'll have it inside another plastic bag, and that'll. Still there in my belly container. I'll finish with a family knife, I'll finish with the scissors, and I'll finish with the other knife. And those plastic containers can have them back too. This one's a little bit tight. Oh no, you're going to be. Okay. Well. <laughs> and then we'll do wash. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. Makes up a really good burly and saves money at the same time, so what could be better? I'll put some links in the video description where you can buy some of the ingredients that I buy online. If you use burly, give this a go. It's really worth it and works very well. I don't think it's important to have a really set recipe with exact quantities, just throw in what you think, it seems to work every time for me. So give it a go next time you're out fishing, I hope you enjoyed this video, until next time, good fishing.